Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got live NBA basketball headed your way on this fine Wednesday afternoon. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Allie LaForce courtside. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Houston Rockets. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. And it's Jordan in at the two guard. Here's Harper. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's McGrady. Pass to Yao. Three-pointer. Rodman with a rebound. Here's Pippen. To the paint. Rodman, shot is good. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Here's McGrady. Battier passes to Yao. Uses the glass on the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And the basket by Pippen. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Pass to Yao. And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. From the inbound. Longley with a rebound. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. The Rockets on offense. Four-point game. Pass to Battier. Over to the left wing. Here's Yao. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Oh, just a beautiful textbook bounce pass. You love to see it. Yao's gone two of four from the field. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. And here's Jordan. Here's Pippen. Blocked! It's a three-on-three -three fast break. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Pass to Jordan. From down low, hits the jump hook. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. McGrady to pass to Scola. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. That is how you deny entry. Great effort. So it's Chicago now. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. They set the pick. Here's Longley. Pass to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Here's Harper. Swatted away. And they'll keep possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Rockets trail. A minute 50 left in the first. Here's Yao. Count it. His third and five attempts. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Here's Kukoc. It's rebounded by Scola. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Pass to Alston. Here's Yao. Fires the three. And he can't get that one. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Here's Scola. Keeps it alive. Controls the rebound and the putback. Yao's got eight. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. 
And so here is Chicago trailing by two. 58 seconds left in the opening quarter. They set the screen. Here's Kukoc. The Bulls with another miss. Pass to Scola. Here's McGrady. Here's Yao. Out to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Alston. He shoots again. And he sinks the layup. Ten points for him. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well. Cleaning it up and sending it right back. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Here's Harper. Still no points. There's the triple. Pure from three-point range. Here's Alston. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Rockets ahead. Up one. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Houston? When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. Yeah, and also a great job hustling on turnovers and turning them into points. Defense creating offense so far in this one. Houston in the lead. And for the Bulls... And it's Simpkins in at the four. To the inside. And here's Jordan. From about 19. And he hits the jumper. Jordan's gotten his second bucket. Here's McGrady. Here's Alston. Pass to Battier. Here's Scola. Here's McGrady. Covered by Jordan. Shot clock at five. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Now here's Jordan. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. The Rockets pull it in. Yao's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's McGrady. Covered by Jordan. Pass to Scola. To the middle. Here's Yao. Goes back up. And it's good on the layup. Yao's got 14 points for the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Closing in on two minutes played here in the second. Here's Simpkins. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, that was clearly a foul. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Here's McGrady. Pass to Scola. Here's Yao. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Jordan with it. Inside. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. 
And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Chicago trailing here. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Second quarter play. Almost three minutes gone here. The baseline, Jay. And it's good. Two points. Pippen's gotten a second bucket on the night. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Alston, the pass to Battier. Here's Yao. And that one is hammered home. And that's exactly how you make a statement. He pulls off a move we might not even see in the slam dunk contest. You think he planned that one? I think it looked like he had one of those dunks that just kind of happens. I agree. Longley passes to Rodman. Clock at six. Here's Harper. Launches it from deep. Yao with a rebound. Yao's got rebound number seven tonight. We've got 128 left in the first half. Alston pass to Yao. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Yao's got 22 points. And man, is he in a zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. Down low. And he takes that one up and powers it through. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. Pass to McGrady. Out to the right wing. Here's Yao. Here's Battier. Nails it from three. And the Rockets lead by seven. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Harper passes to Rodman. Here's Kukoc. And that one's long. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Pass to Scola. Here's Alston. Right wing. Here's Yao. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he makes a first. Jordan's checked in for Chicago. Both good from the line that time. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. And the basket by Pippen. Pippen's gotten four this quarter. No settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. Here's Alston. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Yao. And the layup is good. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. And so it's Houston with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Here's Alston. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. 
And for Chicago, let's take a look. And it's Jordan in at the shooting guard position. Chicago on D. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Harper. Tries the spin move. Pass to Pippen. Rodman, the pass to Longley. Here's Rodman. Goes back up. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line. And coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. The previous play is under the gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. The ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. Can't get the first one. Good on the second one. Houston in the lead. Here's Battier. To the wing, right side. Pass to Alston. Out left to the wing. Here's Yao. Rebound by the Bulls. Rodman's got his fourth rebound in this one. Jordan. And yep, it's good. Jordan's got six. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. Pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. Six points for him. To the inside. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. He's got nine. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking him right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Here's Battier. Here's Yao. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yao's got four points in the quarter. Operation feed the horse. Feed him early and often. And guess what? It's working. They have the lead. Harper passes to Longley. It's rebounded by Houston. I, I'm not sure what happened there. You, you, his family's in the building. I don't know. You have to finish those. Pass to Yao. Here's Austin. Another three from Houston. What, what are you doing? You can't give a player like him that much space. Come on now. Here's Pippen. Here's Longley. And he dunks it down. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Here's Scola. Here's Yao. And the layup is good off the glass. Yao's got 32 points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Jordan. Six points for him. 
Got it from about 16 feet. Jordan's got eight. Some defenses are designed to yield the mid-range shot. For him, that's a good look. Knocks it loose. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. There was a time when star players were traded for a few picks and some quality vets. Now a new paradigm, teams mortgaging their futures for a star and sending away their first round picks for the better part of a decade. Brian, it's clear for teams going all in, you have to push all of your chips in the middle. High stakes for sure, Ali. Thank you. Here's Yao, another shot. And he makes it on the layup. Yao's got 34. Okay, when you let someone with this height get this close, it's going to be nearly impossible to stop, especially when he has that big of an advantage in this category. 114 left to play in the third quarter here. Pass to Pippen. Here's Kukoc. Here's Kerr. He's scoreless. Kukoc, the pass to Kerr. Shot clock at two. Here's Bushler. And the baseline jumper goes down. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's McGrady. Pass to Scola. Here's Yao. From deep. Rebounded by Pippen. To the middle. Here's Wennington. He can't get it to go. Alston, pass to Yao. And he goes in for the dunk. Come on, man. Showing unbelievable agility in the air. When he's working with the lead, now he's got a chance to put the style on it. Here's Kukoc. And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? Oh, talk about a timely three ball. They had to stay within reach going into the fourth, and they did. And so it's the Houston Rockets with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Jordan, the pass to Bushler. Here's Kukoc. Fires for three. The rebound by Alston. And for Chicago. And it's Kerr and a point guard. Inside. Here's Yao. Pass to Scola. To the left side wing. Let's go with a three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Chicago trailing here to the paint. Here's Kukoc, and the shot goes. And this is just typical of him, always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's Yao, after the basket by Chicago, and the basket is good. Yao's got 38 points. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. To the wing on the left to the middle. Here's Jordan. Pass to Winnington. Banked it in off the glass. Winnington's got his first two points of the night. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. From deep, Jordan. Unable to get that one. And it's Houston's ball. They've led by as many as 11. Here's Yao. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. 
Yao's got 14 points here in the second half. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Coach is not happy with their effort on the defensive glass. They're giving up way too many second chance points. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with his team. He told the guys to stay after it inside. He said our play inside is terrific right now. He said don't lose any of that intensity. Stay strong down there. It's always nice to hear a coach enjoying his team's play. Back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Pass to Jordan. Here's Longley. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Drew the defense and made the proper read, hitting his teammates on the perimeter. Houston in the lead. Inside. Here's Austin. Fires in the triple. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Harper. Pass to Jordan. Yao with a rebound. Yao's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Scola. Here's Battier. To the left wing. Here's McGrady. Longley with a rebound. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Harper passes to Jordan. It's rebounded by Houston. Yao's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Here's Battier. Pass to Alston. Here's Yao. Covered by Jordan. Six to shoot. Scola. Off target from outside. 133 left to play in the fourth quarter. Drops in the layup for two. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Here's Battier. Pass to Yao. Rodman with a rebound. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Jordan goes in. Out to the right wing. Let's it go from deep. And that basket makes him 6 for 11, shooting a good percentage. He wants the ball, has a flair for the dramatic, unfazed in big situations. To the left side wing. Here's McGrady. Scola passes to Alston. The three. Oh, he drained it from downtown. And that three-pointer is big. Cancels out the triple at the other end and helps stretch out their lead. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're down by five. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Here's McGrady. Trying here to put the game out of reach. And that's why it's important to play this one smart. And now they decide to foul intentionally. So the first one drops. And that increases the lead to six. So he gets them both. And it's a seven-point game. That's exactly how to close out a game. Take advantage of every opportunity. Pass to Rodman. To the inside. And here's Jordan. There's 25 seconds left to play in the fourth. That one doesn't drop. Yao passes to Battier. Gets a very good look and converts. And the Rockets lead by nine. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed away from way outside no good and so the Rockets take the win this one was a fun one to watch they were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch they really were B.A. they played with great intensity on both ends of the floor 
and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. Now our New Balance Player of the Game.